The San Francisco 49ers are undefeated, and they have decided to go all in on the 2019 season by making a blockbuster trade for receiver Emmanuel Sanders. Let's take a look at the film and find out what makes Sanders such a great fit in the Shanahan offense and also just what makes Sanders such a great player. We're going to start out with the first game of the season against the Oakland Raiders. It's late in the game. Here you see Sanders circled at the bottom of the screen, and he explodes for a huge 50-plus yard gain on this play. Okay, now at this point in the route, we see that he's giving the corner a little bit of an outside move here. And as soon as the corner reacts, Sanders will just cut right by him and go deep on the play. Now the safety in the middle of the field is mesmerized and Sanders is going to blow right by him. And as soon as Sanders gets open, he turns and opens his body to the quarterback. And what I mean by that is it's very literal. He turns his body to face the quarterback as he's running the route down the field. That lets the quarterback make an easier throw and it lets Sanders make an easier catch. Now Flacco probably wasn't expecting the safety to blow that as badly as he did, so he has to bomb this ball way down the field, and Sanders is able to catch up with it and make a great catch as he goes to the ground. 53-yard gain on the play. The 49ers are used to having Marquise Goodwin as the deep threat on the field, but right away we see that Emmanuel Sanders will also bring deep threat ability to the 49ers. Okay. We're down at the goal line now, and it's time for the Broncos to score a touchdown. Sanders is at the bottom of the screen, and let's take a look. Okay, so right away we see what kind of route this is. This is just a one-on-one, -on -one jump ball, best man wins. Now if you take a look, the ball is already in the air, and the corner has excellent position on Sanders. And you'll notice this is why Sanders isn't sticking his hands up to try to catch the ball or anything like that, because if the corner knows that the ball is coming... This pass could be intercepted and returned 100 yards the other way. Sanders gives the defender no idea the ball is coming until the last possible second when he jumps back and creates a little separation and makes a great catch for the touchdown. When we go back and take a look from the other angle, you're going to see just how much separation Sanders is able to create. Wow, look at that. That's perfect. Touchdown Broncos. Okay, let's move on to the next game against the Chicago Bears. This time, Sanders is lined up in the slot receiver position. Now, one of the things we notice right away is that the corner is playing an outside technique. See, he knows he has safety help to the inside, and this helps to guard against a potential deep route by Sanders. So Sanders simply cuts to the inside, but notice how he waits until he gets past the linebacker first, and then he turns and opens his body towards the quarterback, and gets ready to receive the pass. Now watch after this play, he gets up and he is strutting because he knows he just made a great play. And let's go back to the other angle and take a look at why that was so great. Flacco hits him over the middle and he takes the hit and hangs on to the football. And that's one of the things you're going to see out of Sanders is he has very consistent hands. Excellent hands, very few drops, big addition for the 49ers. Okay, we're going to move on to later in the game, and already I'm going to freeze the camera because look at the game situation. The Broncos are down by a touchdown with just 49 seconds left in the game. It's crunch time. Here you see Sanders at the top of the screen, and he's just going to run a fade to the back pylon. Now I stopped it right here because it's important to point out that the defender does not know which way Sanders is going to run. He makes an explosive cut and then he comes down with the football. And when we go back to the other angle, you're going to see what a great play this truly is. He goes up high to catch that football at its highest point with the defender draped all over him. And he comes down and gets both feet down in bounds. And now we're starting to realize that... Not only is this about playmaking ability and consistency with the hands, but Emmanuel Sanders is a red zone threat. In fact, the Broncos decide to go for two here. And just like with the previous situation, the defender does not know which way Sanders is going to go with the football. As it turns out, the outside receiver is going to go deep, 
Sanders is just going to cut in at the goal line and look at the separation he gains on this play. Consistent hands, red zone threat. The 49ers already have a great defense, and they have decided that through sheer force of will, they are going to have a top offense this year as well. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Here they're playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and it's early. The Broncos start out with a running play, and all the linebackers react strongly. And that's unfortunate because this isn't a running play. It's a pass. Okay, now there's only one receiver in the play, and it's Sanders. And again, we see that the corner is playing an outside technique to help defend against the potential of a deep route. He has safety help to the inside. The safety backpedals pretty aggressively on the play, and you can see that Sanders is open to the inside. He's going to allow that completion rather than get beat deep. So when Sanders makes a move in that direction, the corner reacts extremely strongly and just, just goes all out to try to defend that pass. And Sanders, despite the corner playing outside technique, actually cuts to the outside here and comes wide open on the play. Big gain for the Broncos. When we go back to the other angle, you're going to see just how much separation Sanders has on this play. And the 49ers now have a receiving core where all the receivers have the ability to get open, to gain separation, to make those moves, excellent footwork. And now Sanders will be leading the pack. Another trait he shares with the receivers that are already on the 49ers roster is he fights for extra yardage at the end of the play. Let's move on. And again, I want you to notice the game situation. Broncos are down by six with just a minute 46 left in the game. Sanders is at the top of the screen lined up to the outside, but he cuts inside of the slot receiver here. And again, we notice that the corner is playing an outside technique. And look at the respect that the safety is giving to Sanders. He doesn't want to get beat deep with just a minute and change left in the game. Again, they're going to allow this completion to the inside to Sanders. This is how good Sanders is. He makes these defenses respect him and notice Again, he waits till he gets past the linebacker and then turns and opens for Flacco, and he makes a great catch. How great of a catch? Let's go back to the snap and take a look. Okay, now Flacco has him open, but it's a very poor throw by Flacco. Sanders has to turn his body around and come back for the football, catches it, spins around, makes a safety miss, and gets all the way down inside the 10-yard line with a minute and change to go. That is clutch. All right, we're going to take a look at one last play, and this is against the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, if you notice the game situation, there is 55 seconds left before the half. The Broncos are driving and trying to get some points. Notice again, we see all the same things. The corner playing an outside technique, the linebacker sitting underneath, and Sanders just goes by him, turns his body, opens his body to the quarterback, and makes a great catch. Takes a hit by the Honey Badger and hangs on to the football. Well, there it is. The 49ers have decided to go all in. They add an explosive playmaker to their offense in Emmanuel Sanders. And now, the sky is the limit for the 6-0 San Francisco 49ers. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus video. And the full breakdown against Washington is still coming, so be on the lookout for that. As always, I want to thank all my new subscribers. Hit that like, share this video, and I will see you guys soon.